I wish they would fight on an aircraft carrier. I don't know why they don't partner up with the Navy, do that put and fight on the deck of an aircraft carrier with it moving and have those panning shots, drone shots. That'd be hilarious night. if they like ever see people walk down the aisle of a cruise ship that's tilting yeah. and they all walk sideways and drift. <laughs> yeah. I would love to see that a fight where that happens. I don't <laughs> I, I think they've done it. I think maybe they've done it before fights. On, I know they've had like Navy bikes. That'd work a little. <laughs> I don't think they're as wobbly as a cruise ship. I bet I bet the US military like fixes that. I bet it's I bet the opposite. I bet cruise ships are designed for comfort and military ships are designed for something else. Speed. Yeah, I don't yeah but they're know, loaded torpedoes. with bombs and planes. So those aren't going to go off. Let's by, keep like, her stable, boys. The thing is, Kyle, I saw it in a YouTube video, so check me. And Zach, also, Woody's Zach, explanation was compelling to me, <laughs> and so I'm sold. Like, that, that does make sense. It's who's more size? apt? Who, who's more apt to depend or to really focus on size? making a comfortable... I'm making a comfortable <laughs> walking place. Well, uh, it's the people who have lots of uh, consumers, <laughs> not the Navy. That's what uh, it's, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Max, Max wanting more yeah. uh, more peanuts. <laughs> it was chin ties, so I trust him. Yeah. Hmm. What's, that, what's that Family Guy's character? Oh, Lord Underbottom. Yes, that like really fancy guy. Lord Undertooth. That's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> just that classic rich guy voice. Carriers don't strit, sit straight anyways, or always. Well, I didn't know that. Well, anywho, Seems like they're uh, I would like straight. to see. I would like to see a location like that where they fought on an aircraft carrier, fought on a plane, like like in the sky somehow, or uh, just no uh, no fans. It's all right. Well, that, we're making a hard turn, boys. <laughs> Like, clearly. Yeah, they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to make turns during the fight. They're a, it's a wartime vessel. Honestly, are you not blown away by how sharp a turn it appears to be making? And it's distorted by the movement of the camera rotating around. But yeah, still, yeah. like that thing's busting ass, hanging a hard left. I think you can see the deck warping. It's turning so hard. Like <laughs> Jesus Christ! I see what you're talking about. Yeah, we got a dozen it, of those bitches. And I'm proud <laughs> to be in them. I wonder. So did, I've had this thought. <laughs> Fucking cool. Do you remember at the beginning of the Ukraine war, people were like, "Are tanks even relevant? They're so easy to take out with mm -hmm. these inexpensive rounds, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. Turns out, tanks still matter. I have that thought about aircraft carriers. Like they haven't really been put to the test against a viable opponent in a while. Sure, we beat the fuck out of Iran in like the '90s or something. Mm -hmm. But they weren't a good test. What did they have? Frigates or something? Oftentimes, like cargo ships converted to warships. Of course, Migs. we won. They did have yeah, yeah. MiGs, but we had planes yeah. up too. We harpoon. We got harpoon missiles. I think. Oh no, I can't remember what the missiles were. So here's what happened. So um, the Iranians pissed us off. I they, 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 um, they damaged one of our ships badly, and any other ship would have sank quite likely. I just watched a video on this, and. Uh, but what happened is it just so happened that the crew on that ship, I guess the Navy has like competitive emergency repair, like competitions. And these guys were the boss. So they're like the winners. They're like taking chains and, and the ship was only held together by the deck that it was like opening in the middle and they're like chaining the ship back together, welding it and whatever. And th they saved the ship. It didn't go down. There wasn't a single day. A year later, it was back on the ocean and good to yeah. go. Yeah. A few days or a few hours they got it in port in like Dubai or something. And then like Kyle said, they took it to America, fully fixed it, and the thing did another like 15 years in service. So more. They badly damaged the ship and would have sank most, but it just so happened we had the It was a mine by the way, an Iranian mine in international right. waters. We were escorting um maybe Saudi oil, maybe our oil, French oil, it doesn't matter. Someone's oil, we were the Navy, our navy was escorting it, hit the mine. Now, Ronald Reagan's mad. So they decide to do a proportional response. <laughs> we had a damaged ship. We sank half their Navy. And it was just like, like, I don't know, like we, we, they had three oil rigs, but I guess these oil rigs were used for military purposes. And it's like, we're going to take out all three of these oil rigs and like one of their ships. And then like we take out one oil rig, we take out another oil rig and we're taking them out so easily and fast that like our plans for taking them out aren't even working. Like on the first one, I think 
we damaged the rig. We sent some Marines on it with demolition and they took out the sec- the first rig. Second rig, we have Navy SEALs who are going to do that same task, <laughs> like put demo rigs on it and shit. But the boat shot the fuck out of it. And we're like, ah, oh, sorry, Naval SEALs. There's nothing left to sink. It's with like done. A ca- my, my favorite part is they, they call over, hey, get the fuck out of there. This is the United States Navy. We're sin- we're blowing that shit up. And they're like, okay, we'll leave. Like, you got 15 minutes. They see that they're earnestly trying to leave. Like, like, like. And they're like, okay, have 10 more minutes. Clearly, you're actually trying to get out of there. But then one asshole gets on like a 20 millimeter cannon, like a ship to ship, maybe anti-air kind of boop, 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 boop gun cannon and shot at the Navy vessel. They vaporized him instantly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They just they made a point of that, of that they hit him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that does seem fair. If everybody else was trying to hustle, you know, you but don't want to blow the whole thing. The capability up. impresses me, right? Like yeah, they yes. were they were far away. Navy shit all happened. Like there was another point in the video I was watching, and they're like, this thing was 15 miles away, which in naval terms is point blank range, right? Like that's that's how they operate. But anyway, this thing was closer than that, I think. And uh yeah, yeah they were in like, visual range with this guy. They hit him with a cannon. Yeah, they, they returned Boom, right at him. And- Did he and uh the boat? Um, I don't know uh, if the NIA. I, I think it's a the damage, boat. but but nobody but, but, was hurt. Yeah, everything was yeah, fine. Yeah, he shot they, might have, they, they ruined the paint. And so <laughs> that then they bring in like their battleship, and we have I think we have planes sink the battleship, and then yeah. another battleship comes, and they're like, hey, you know we we weren't even planning on sinking you, but like we're gonna, you should leave, and they're like, okay, we'll leave, but they don't. They keep coming. And they're like, well, that was a mistake. And they sank that thing with like dive bombing yeah. torpedoes from the sky or something. And, and then, then uh, the best part was at the end, because now out of nowhere, they finally find the ship they've been looking for the whole time. But now they've already wreaked havoc. They've, they've gone so way beyond shit. proportional. They don't even need this th- to so take this ship out anymore. They don't yeah. need it anymore. So they call back, hey, we found the target, but we already wrecked their shit. You want me to come home? And they're like, yeah. Come on home. Now, this is the part where you've got to read between the lines a little. That's when we went for a little close flyby just to make sure it was the ship we were looking for, which means we got real close to it with our plane and pissed them the fuck off. And when they and then they shot at us because, you know, we'd been sinking them all day. Yeah. (laughs) When they shot at us, the fighter pilot was able to, I don't know, rules of uh, engagement state that. Now we are engaged. I don't need to call back home. I'm in a fight. So we sank them. <laughs> <laughs> and you think it was a, uh, oh no, they're coming right for us. Like <laughs> he, he antagonized them by flying close and waited for them to shoot at him. And he's like, oh, they've engaged. Let's take them out. And he took what was that. Out. I think I heard something whiz past me. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, that's <laughs> the day when the United I think States sank half the Iranian Navy. I think there was a Navy ship from the Iranian side where if, if I have the story right, we were like, look, we weren't going to sink you. If you just leave, we'll pretend we didn't see you. And they accepted those terms. I, I think mm-hmm. that did happen. Yeah, one one but, definitely had enough sense to leave. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, our Navy wrecked Iran's Navy. But that's not a big surprise. Uh, yeah, I, I wonder what happens if it's Navy. China. Or Russia is What's known the- to have the second best Navy, unless that's out of date. Man, every time I see a Russian boat, it's fucking tipped over to the side these days. The the fear is those <laughs> missiles that could hit our aircraft carrier, I guess, those hypersonic Man. naval missiles. That's that, where I started uh, with the tank thing. Like, it, Well, I'm not impressed by the Russian hypersonic missile, clearly, because we can take those down. And I, you've seen all the crazy like guns that are... It reminds me of the Expanse. You know, they've got the cannons on the side that brrr, like cut down mm-hmm. the... But the Navy ships have those. Have you seen the Reddit clip of one locking onto an airliner? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and they're like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just trolling. They're being a little silly. It's definitely not late loaded. They're important and everything. But it, mm. like, locks onto an airliner. To, and it's like, mm. And it's just this passive system that can do that. It's real are, cool. Are that thing is so fast. Are any of our current allies good with their Navy? Like, you know, the, the England, they used to have the best Navy in the world. That was, that was quite a ways ago now. Like, are <laughs> yeah, they we, were are we, like, we're, are we the only one really yeah. putting them, putting the, the power on the water? Like, China's England, do they have a lot much? of, 
France. So, I don't hear about them. Germany. I don't. I don't hear about them helping out in the Navy shit. But I also yeah, spend lots. no time looking into Navy shit. I know the Australians have a have a pretty interesting fleet. They just bought a ton of nuclear subs from us for a enormous amount of money. And uh, but but the Chinese, I keep hearing about when they spend money on their navy. It's often a navy that's meant to invade Taiwan. So it's landing vessels and craft that are meant for this. I don't know mm. what the distance is, you yeah. know, between them. It's not far though, and it, it, a certain kind of vessel can make that little hop over carrying troops. And I think they've been investing a lot in that. But you would think that it would be silly to kind of, I don't know, try to compete with us at some point. No, no, not compete, but like, oh, from China, like competing, yeah. But, but I like was a worthwhile like, friend. Yeah. You like, know, is Germany friend helping? Like, is Germany like, oh, you will not believe this, America? We come up with something, make your boats even better. And it's like, that's great. You guys and your engineering, thanks for that, Germany. Like, is that kind of happening? So we, we all see what Zach wrote. Zach said, the US is one. Russia, China are two, three, but we don't know the order. Yeah. Indonesia's four, which I didn't know. That makes sense. And after that, like I can see why maybe by what England, but statistic? Like France, yeah, I don't know. Um, India, Japan, and France after. Hmm. France mm. is five, six, seventh. What what I'm always impressed by by our navy and our military is that our military is designed to do its fighting on the other side of the planet. Whereas a lot of militaries are built as defensive measures israel's army is built in a way to fight right where they fucking are they have no business flying and fighting in cleveland they're never going to do it but ours is built to not only do that but do it really well there's so yeah. many i remember when the russians had a submarine go down not all that long ago they needed rescuing they're down there on the ocean floor and of course they de they decline our help we're the only people out there who can rescue submariners because their mm. like rescue ship is rusting in the Baltic or in or up on mm -hmm. the halfway to the North Pole. So much of their fancy shit that you need to keep running. Like the vessel that's meant to go and save submariners on the bottom of the ocean doesn't get a lot of work in because that doesn't happen much, right? Yeah. Mm. So you gotta be a real deal kind of fucking navy to keep that huge vessel, all the men on it. And don't imagine a hundred men. Imagine Many shifts, two hundreds of men, or maybe a thousand men. I don't know. Yeah. So like aircraft carriers have five thousand people on them, um, but we have all that stuff, and it always blows me away when they need a yeah. tool. They've got it. Yeah, but they but only I, have five thousand people on there for now. Like eventually, those things will be like remote controlled sea bases, I think and we'll be flying like drones directly off of them. Like, will we even need people there? Maybe like, like a couple of mechanics or something to like fix stuff in the. In I don't know what need. the five thousand. I think those five thousand men are, you know, repairing planes, loading planes, fueling planes, keeping the ship going. There is a I nuclear imagine reactor. A down lot there. of those men are there to serve <laughs> the men. Now. That's true. We should leave somebody's some operating. Homer's down there with his hand on the switch. You know, <laughs> but like you take the pilots out of the planes, oh, and yeah. suddenly, like you need fewer cooks. Like there's a. You know, multiplication. Mm -hmm. You need fewer people doing laundry and fewer people yeah. doing who knows what. That's fair. That's what happened but, eventually? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think uh, uh, it it it's it's fucking cool. I've never seen one in, in person. Have either of you seen an aircraft aircraft carrier? I want to see. I that. have on a from a bridge. Maybe uh, I, I bet like I have also it, in Virginia and um, what's the yeah. fucking big naval yard in Virginia? Um. I bet if I went up there, I could I could see one if I timed it just right. I I, I legitimately want to see one. They're so fucking big. That might be the most impressive thing that we make as humans. So yeah, some of the commercial stuff's really big too. The boats, man, yeah, ships or, or, like like oil oil rig oil. Um, yeah. What the hell is the oil ship called? I can't think of the name of it. The ones that oil. the oil tanker. Yeah, I'm going for. Yeah, yeah, they can be really no. big. Yeah, some cargo so. ships. Uh, yeah, but that, but this one's nuclear powered, you know, and it's full of yeah, billions of dollars of planes and shit. And there's five thousand <laughs> right. men on it. That's crazy. There's five thousand men on it. It's a city. I bet, I bet it's cramped. It's a city. I bet if you're a three, this is as a girl, you get anyone you want. Yeah. Oh, and I bet there's ship? like a ten to rate, yeah. ten to one boy to girl ratio on the navy ship. And if you're a three, you're a three at sea is like a nine at home. A three at sea. Do you think that's what we call her? Three at sea. <laughs> can you can you imagine you're 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 in the fucking fucking Pacific? You hop on Tinder. 
<laughs> Fuck! Four it's just girl. the same. It's just the same four, four girl. <laughs> you swipe right on the captain. It's like, it's, fingers crossed. <laughs> Meanwhile, she has like five thousand guys yeah. to go through. Yeah, you swipe yeah. left on all four of them, and it's like, would you like to expand your range by three thousand miles? Nautical miles. <laughs> uh, if you, you can get... maybe reach the coast of, of Iran from here. Now you <laughs> get the Polynesian sure fishermen illegal. on there. <laughs> yeah uh i don't know i'm I, the navy is one of the most impressive everyone's jobs that... like sup i'm on a navy ship <laughs> <laughs> they're all the same yeah that would be funny i think I'm trying to think there i think there was a controversy oh we were talking about it with um with somebody i think somebody got pregnant on a on a on a naval ship or something i can't remember what yeah, the controversy is. that probably happens all the fucking did you hear about that 